Dame Dash was reacting to a very old Kendrick Lamar tweet about reasonable doubt being better than Illmatic. Kendrick Lamar has long been a massive fan of both Nas and Jay-Z, and one of his hot takes on the Once Upon a Time rivalry might get him closer to a new business venture. Moreover, Dame Dash recently discovered one of his old tweets from 2010 about HOV's reasonable doubt being better than Esco's Illmatic, and had an idea for K. Dara. At Kendrick Lamar My Third is for sale if you want to buy it. Any serious offers DM. He captioned a screenshot of the tweet on Instagram uploaded Thursday, June 6. While Kendrick has yet to publicly respond, it would be interesting if this full circle moment actually ends up happening. Of course, Rockefeller Records is not what it was in the early 2000s anymore, but it's connected to Jay-Z's wider business empire, so there's got to be something good out of it. Regardless, we know that Kendrick Lamar is keeping busy these days and has plenty of opportunities to coincide a big announcement with. For example, he will perform at the Forum in Los Angeles for a special Juneteenth show with friends, which folks can't wait to witness. After all, the Drake beef alone is enough to entice potential concertgoers in the city, not to mention the rest of this legendary catalog. Dame Dash is offered to Kendrick Lamar elsewhere, Kendrick Lamar will have to contend with a lot of bad business blood if he considers buying into Rockefeller Records, which Dame Dash owns a third of through his stake in the company as a co-founder. Amid Dame's other legal issues that almost saw him sell his shares through a court order over an unfulfilled lawsuit settlement, The Rock intervened. Jay-Z and Kareem Bigsberg, the other two co-founders, blocked Dash from selling his shares due to the board of directors having to sign off on that decision first. The music executive also previously teased selling his shares to Cameron and Mays. In 2021, I was trying to sell my shares at public auction. Dame Dash explained regarding the business backstory. Jay and Biggs sued me, or had Rockefeller Incorporated sue me, and say I was trying to sell all the shares. I'm the CEO of Rockefeller. What Jay did was pretend to be the CEO of Rockefeller. He hired his lawyers on Rockefeller Incorporated's behalf and sued me. Jay's lawyers were being paid by me, and the money generated from Rockefeller Inc.